fellow Ugandans, as we continue to mourn our brother and friend, the Speaker of the 11th Parliament of Uganda, Right Honorable Jacob Olanya, who passed away in Seto, USA, on Sunday, March of 20th, 2022. I wish as the chairperson of the National Organizing Committee for the Barrier Arrangements to update you as follows. The final barrier program will be released after election of a new Speaker of Parliament. The process of electing a new Speaker is ongoing. The subcommittees of the National Organizing Committee are going ahead to plan for activities of a befitting send-off as directed by His Excellency the President of the Republic of Uganda. Security remains of, of, of great importance as we mourn the late Jacobo Olanya. As you are aware, burial will involve several activities which are sensitive given the status of the late. Accordingly, the Minister in Charge of Security, retired Major General Jim Moes, alongside the Inspector General of Police, will brief the public on the planned security arrangements during the morning period. In addition to the above, in consideration of the threat of COVID-19, access to the state funeral service at Kololo ceremonial grounds will be by invitation and the standard operating procedures will be strictly observed. In my next briefing, I'll give you the approved number of mourners who will be allowed to access the venue. All the barrier activities involved in the send-off will be relayed live on the national television. As chairperson of the National Organizing Committee, I have delegated Honorable Hilal Onek to work with the ministers from Acholi sub-region to engage with the cultural and political leaders in Acholi for their input in the barrio arrangements. I have personally spoken with the father of the deceased Muzeina Chan Okori Adio and the paramount chief of Acholi, Rot David Onen Ochan, who both expressed willingness to work with the government in order to have this befitting send-off. As you are aware, Right Honorable Jacob Olanya was a member of parliament representing the people of Omoro and very much celebrated in Acholi. The leadership of the parliament of Uganda is fully in charge of managing mourners at both homes of the deceased, i.e. in Muyenga, Kampala and at the ancestral home in Omoro, where he will be buried. Parliament has identified service providers to this effect. I appeal to the public to be calm during this trying time. Right Honorable Jacob Olanya was a man of peace, a unifier and a statesman who worked for stability and transformation of this country. I call upon all Ugandans to promote unity and continue praying for him. Finally, I wish to assure all Ugandans that the government of Uganda, under the leadership of His Excellency Yoel Kagutam Seven, who has been a close friend, will accord the deceased a funeral befitting of his status and legacy. Flags will continue flying at half mast over the country until the mourning period is concluded. I will coordinate with the Minister for Information, Communication, Technology and National Guidance, Honorable Dr. Chris Variomons, to give you continuous updates on the barrio arrangements. I wish to end this statement by once again expressing my deepest sympathy 
and a message to comfort the family of the late Jacob Olanya, the relatives, and all the friends spread all over the world upon this very big loss. Uganda has indeed lost a great son. May the soul of right honorable Jacob Olanya rest in eternal peace. Babili Emile Babalanda is my name, Minister in charge of Presidency and Chairperson National Organizing Committee. I thank you.